Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Showdown Sunday, second week in a row where we have a big time showdown matchup in FIFA 21 taking place in real life. We have Liverpool versus Manchester United today, and I want to take a look at a couple of these cards. Again, talk about this SBC, how it impacts the market, because I think both these guys are no longer completable inside of the game. I believe that their SBCs are gone. Because, of course, EA makes them expire before game time because they want you to take that risk to do that SBC. But we are going to find out who wins today, whether both of these cards get upgraded like last week um, with the Malin and with the Kleiber, or if just one of them gets upgraded. I think if you had to, I wish we had some percentages, right, to see how many people have, di have done uh, one or, or the other SBC. I think a lot of people did McTominay. I think that's the one that most people are kind of rooting for and hoping for uh, because those Manchester United links, him getting a plus two would take him to an 87. He'd have a pretty cracked out card. To be honest, Milner would have a pretty decent card as well if he'd go to an 87. So either way, I did not do either of these SBCs. I know a lot of you guys want McTominay and United to win. So that card would be very interesting if he did win. But the cool thing about this is, is that there's so much hype generated for these SBCs um, and that hype goes into real life, right? Like we're looking at this McTominay card um, and I don't know if you guys remember last week, but the, the, um, like the ratings, like I think it was the air division came out and said that the ratings for that game versus Ajax and PSV were like the most number of live concurrent viewers that they have ever had watching that derby or that, that matchup ever before. Like it's crazy how much hype FIFA can create for cards in this game. So there's going to be a lot of eyes on the Liverpool uh, Man U match today. Those cards should get upgraded pretty soon because I remember Kleiber was updated, I think, within a day or so. Um, so hopefully... I think Acuna was updated within a day or so as well. So hopefully we get quick updating cards today on our Sunday in FIFA. So that's like the big thing that a lot of people are going to be watching today is that matchup to see which of those two cards gets upgraded based on the game. But also we need to talk about this market because as we talked about yesterday, this weekend league, this sell-off, it's happening, right? The market crash is happening, okay? I knew... That it would might that it might take a little bit longer than a normal weekend league sell-off, just because more people are grinding out for more foot champs wins this weekend with the extra player picks available. But we are headed into the Sunday night time or Saturday night into Sunday. This Mbappe is literally down like 30k in the past couple hours. Neymar is down a lot. These cards are really starting to take a drop in price. Whereas earlier today, a lot of people were like, "Yo, Nate, this market really isn't crashing, man." Well. You take a look at it now, it 100% is. Neymar is 667,000 coins, 665 sitting on the market right there. He was 688 earlier today, so he's dropped a lot. But one of the areas we're really seeing a lot of this selling is on some of the out-of-pack specials. The Sagio Mane foot freeze item is 1.9 mil, and this guy's been around like the 2, 2.1 range, so he's down a lot right now under the 1.9 range, which is kind of crazy. And of course, you're seeing gold cards take a big hit as well. I was looking to see Cristiano Ronaldo get down to a point where he might get to a million coins, and he's not too far off, boys. He's really not. He's 1.04, 1.03 for Ronaldo right now on the market. This guy's probably going to be a million. Now, again, is this the absolute low point for a lot of this stuff? I don't think so. I think it probably still drops throughout the week this week just because... I don't really imagine that a lot of people are going to want to buy. I don't think there's a lot of people that are going to want to buy cards this week. Again, like I talked about in a past video, it's just people are not going to be willing to spend their coins because they know that team of the year is coming and they don't want to be risking risking it for the biscuit with the new promo that is coming out very soon and all that it brings. So that's why you're seeing a lot of the market again go down. It's actually kind of fun. If you take a scroll over here to Footbin, you take a look at some of these prices, it's kind of crazy to see some of that drop off and some of just where they have gone from where they were, right? This Mane is 1.9, Bernardo Silva is 5.35, Casemiro 3.48, this guy was 3.80, almost 400K this weekend. He's down a lot. Of course, Dembele's dropping some. St. Maxman's down over. Technically, he's down 100K from his peak yesterday. Um, so it's kind of cool to, to, maybe not cool if you're losing money on these cards, but just interesting to scroll through and look at how far these guys have dropped uh, from, from where they were. It's just very 
amusing, I guess you could say, that we, we knew it was coming, boys, right? We knew that this panic sell was coming. We knew that these cards were going to be dropping. Um, but it's kind of, it's actually kind of nice to see it, right? It's, it's nice to see it because we have been thinking about this for the past couple days. Honestly, we've been expecting this stuff to really drop. And now it finally is. It's finally dropping. It's finally coming down in price. Uh, so I won't say that it's nice to see, but if you've sold your cards already, like we talked about, it is nice to see. Now, it is very cheap. It is very late night right now. So that means you can find some deals still because a lot of these guys are rare. I bought this Firmino at 159, small profit there to 173. I bought this Porto at 170, small profit there. I still have a couple cards that I'm trading with. My Erling Holland, right? I'm still losing mad coins on this card. I bought him while trying to flip him in his game today. He plays on Tuesday. So I might actually, I might actually end up uh, holding on to this Holland card um, and seeing if I'm able to flip that later on this weekend once his price rebounds a bit probably shouldn't have relisted him because he's like 520 right now if that sells i don't really want to lose my coin just yet but i'm trying to make up some coins for that loss but if you want to try to trade with cards this weekend focus a lot on these out of packs guys right record breakers um watch the spend yetter card of course he's probably getting an inform this week um you know he, he is very rare on this game and um, sometimes he gets undercuts, right? So sometimes he gets undercut and just watch these really rare cards because they still fluctuate a decent amount and you're still going to be able to get some sales on them because especially if you're in the PlayStation market, there's still enough buyers out there that might be buying some cards at a certain point in time that you can get some sales. But again, what we're kind of talking about now in this game is like the start of preparation for team of the year. Some people were like, yo, are we seeing a loading screen today on Sunday? Uh, I heard a couple of people talking about that. I don't think... I would expect a loading screen today on a Sunday. Um, now, one thing I also wanted to debunk is the fact that the team of the year voting is over on January 18th. Now, if we read the fine print, this has been misunderstood by a lot of people. If we read the fine print from EA Sports, the voting ends on 1159 Pacific time, January 18th, which is 8 a.m. UK on Tuesday, the 19th of January. So, it's literally impossible that team of the year would come out on Monday, January 18th. I think it's it's literally impossible because the voting will not be over yet. So um, I think team of the year is going to come out this Friday or uh, Monday, either the 22nd or the 25th. It's going to be one of those two days. But I think this week is when you're really going to start to see the promo stuff from EA. Once the voting ends, I mean, I remember last year there were multiple days of loading screens where they gave us hints. Like each day they gave us another hint, right? They showed us the card design. They showed us like a couple names and hints and clues back on the wall of who's going to get in. I would expect some sort of teaser loading screens to probably start on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, but I, I think EA is really going to start hard with the promotion of team of the year this week. I mean, starting even, I don't know if they do it today because the voting's not over yet, but they, they've been tweeting out, you know, real Ferdinand's, um, you know, team of the year 11 that he picks. So I think you'll, you'll continue to see a few more of those tweets roll out. I'm just not sure what EA does for content in this game though, because if, if they really want to, if they really, really want to, they can make it one big last week of content on the game before we have team of the year. One thing one thing I do think you will see this week is they will start to drop a couple of flashback SBCs. And um, like if you guys remember flashback Davo Louise last year or player moments of Bernardo Silva, those SBCs, a couple of them I think, dropped right before team of the year actually came out and they were out for like 20 days kind of like how Firmino was out for a long time I think they'll drop a big name player flashback or some sort of SBC this week maybe like a, a Wayne Rooney end of an era type card they could drop they put it out for like 20 days or so and that's a card that you can you will see as an SBC that it will be craftable during the team of the year time period with upgrade packs out and stuff like that so well, there's a lot to talk about with the SBC stuff. I think they will also put out an icon SBC in the next couple of days, a repeatable one, whether that's a repeatable mid, a repeatable base player pick. They might have a couple different repeatable icon SBCs out in the game. I think that's something EA wants to do to you know set that up and have it in the game for when team of the year is going on, when all the packs are being opened, that you can open those SBC packs and drain your new coins that you get from opening packs into those as well so again it's a normal sunday on fifa ultimate team for the fact that um 
there's going to be more weekend league sell-off. Prices are going to drop lower. If you do want to trade, you can. Just be careful, right? Just be careful because cards are constantly being undercut with each other, and there's not going to be as many people buying. But you will find some good snipes out there, and you will you will see some prices drop and still fluctuate on some of these rare cards, right? Like this uh, poor two cards, 198 right now, which is really, really high for him. But he's just kind of fluctuated to a high. Um, and he's only one of the only right wings in La Liga, especially around this price point um, and with his live card. So you'll still be able to get sales on some cards. But, um, you know, just be careful this weekend as you're watching. I just expect today to be another landslide day on the market. And a lot of these prices continue to drop lower. Um, I, I did have a couple of questions asking, yo, will you be buying cards tonight on Sunday night for a rise on Monday? And in my honest opinion, I'm probably not going to touch any of that because Yes, you might see a couple cards uptick. Um, like this Carrasco is 155. I mean, he was 175, 180 all weekend on the PlayStation. Um, Genie Wijnaldum is down, I think, because of the rumors of him going to Barcelona. I'm not sure if those were legit rumors or not. Um, but I think that might be partially why his price is down a decent amount. Uh, but a lot of the gold cards and a lot of every card, man, is really just getting sold off a lot this weekend. You don't need me to sit here and tell you that. Renato Sanchez, 234, that is low, man. That is low, bro. So I guess if you're going to focus on cards this weekend to maybe get in and be interested in for trading, watch the games, right? Watch the live items that happened from the games today. Sheffield, Tottenham, Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Crystal Palace. We have many uh, ones to watch cards, many headliner items that are have games on the line here for this. Uh, e even in the C Serie A, Inter and Juventus, that's a pretty big game. Um, so just kind of watch out for these games today, live items that might move around and, um, keeping on a watch on the, uh, these out of pack specials and honestly just start to get your club ready for team of the year. If you want to, today might be a day where a lot of people start to buy rare golds. People might be going unassigned on rare golds today because this is a day on Sunday where we have the squad battle rewards time frame. And I think this is a time where a lot of people will say, Hey, go out, start buying those rare golds, go on a sign if you want to stock up on these and get ready for upgrade packs that will come out during team of the year. So um, if you do want to do that, I think you're going to have some competition because a lot of other people are going to be doing that as well. And um, just be mindful of how much coins you're putting into that because we'll talk about the rare golds and stuff as we get towards team of the year. But um, if that's something that you wanted to do, it might be an opportunity to do that today on FIFA. But honestly, boys, unless EA surprises us with some big time content today, I'm not expecting that big of a Sunday, just more weekend league sell off, um, people finishing their weekend leagues to get those extra player picks, which has kind of prolonged the sell off, which is why we're really starting to see it now. And we're really starting to see that market drop. Um, but the last thing I wanted to say was, um, this is kind of one of your last chances to craft and to do these uh, SPCs right here, I would recommend doing these if you have not done them. Uh, the 82 plus attacker upgrade, the 82 midfielder, and the 82 defender. I have done these SBCs and I have put them in my pack section. And I'm saving them for team of the year because, uh, yes, I know the probability is very, very low. But there is a chance that you could pack a team of the year card from one of these SBCs and um, possibly hit it big from one of those uh, squad building challenges packs that you have saved up. So I'm going to be saving those. I'm going to be doing my icon swap packs as well and... and, and uh, saving those for team of the year so yeah boys today on the market i hope you've sold all your cards right a lot of us we've sold our cards we're kind of just chilling right maybe trying to do a few trades watching headliners like um you know holland what is one card that i would watch he was down at 500k flat today after of course dortmund lost their streak um and they have a game though on holland and dortmund have a game on tuesday so this is kind of an interesting card again that i'm just keeping an eye on because I think that he might be a bit underpriced, uh, just specifically that he could rebound back into his game a little bit. 490? Is that on the market right now? What? Oh, man. That's looking kind of juicy right there. Uh, 490. This guy was literally just like five, almost 520K. I'm not going to pull the trigger because I'm broke as a joke. But that would not be a too terrible buy because I think you might see some cards rebound back into the week a little bit. But... A lot of people aren't going to want to buy this week. So we'll talk about that tomorrow in the Market Outlook video. And unless EA drops some sick content today, kind of be a snoozer of a Sunday continuing what has been going on this past week. So honestly, not a lot to talk about except for the summer showdown.
not Summer Showdown, just the Showdown SBCs between uh, Manchester United and Liverpool today. And uh, we'll be covering, if we get any more information, we'll be covering that here on the channel for this next week. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Ford Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.